Hi, my name is Dr. John Dugard, and I want to talk to you today about what pesticides can do to your mouth. Studies with farmers have shown that pesticides, breathing them, being around them on the crops, have destroyed very important good bacteria of your mouth and sometimes eradicated entire species. And the effect lingers on from spring and summer while they're out in the fields into the winter therefore compromising their immunity because many of these really important good bacteria are very important for your oral health, for your respiratory tract, your eyes, ears, nose, and throat, the immunity of that, for the uh, health of your gum tissue, and also for bad breath. Some of these bacteria, these bad bacteria, which are allowed to proliferate when the good bacteria disappear because of the pesticides, the bad bacteria produce these volatile sulfur compounds which cause bad breath but good bacteria actually keep them at bay so we don't get that kind of issue. One of the bad boys is a, is a, a bacteria called Streptococcus mutans, which is found to get through the teeth and the gums when they're unhealthy into the bloodstream and they deposit in the arteries and the heart causing risk of heart concerns. They've actually been found to be you know, de de uh, increasing the risk of plaque in the brain, causing cognitive decline as we age. So your mouth, is really, really important. It's the first line of defense. In fact, there's microbes in your mouth, in your esophagus, stomach, small and large intestine, that make enzymes that are specific for digesting the hard digest components of gluten and wheat and dairy and other hard to digest foods. So many of the, us have difficulty digesting hard to digest foods. We take it out of our diet and we try to eat a cleaner diet. When we eat just a cleaner, more sterile diet, we have a sterile environment now and a sterile diet now because we can't digest hard to digest foods, that has been shown now in recent studies to compromise our immunity. People who actually are on a gluten-free diet have significantly more mercury in their blood. They have less good bacteria, more bacteria, and less killer T cells, which is a measure of immunity. So there's some really interesting science beginning to emerge and say, gosh, we've been eating wheat and grains and things like that for millions of years, not 10,000, and we have evolved with microbes to digest them specifically throughout our entire digestive tract, and between a broken down digestive system from processed foods and the pesticides that we eat, and exposed to, we've destroyed many of the microbes and the studies show it in our mouth, they're gone. There is one microbe called Streptococcus salivarius, which is lacking in a lot of people who have weakened immunity. And you can actually take a, a probiotic and chew it and actually replenish it because that, one of those specific Streptococcal salivarius bacteria strains literally adheres to the, to the lining of your mouth and can repopulate good bugs. I call them colonizing bacteria as opposed to transient you know, probiotics, which means that you take them, they feel good when you take them, you feel good when you take them, but they don't actually stick around. You gotta keep taking the pill. The idea of the Streptococcus uh, salivarius, particular strain that's colonizing, it sticks to the gums, to the wall of your mouth, to the skin of your mouth, and repopulates, and then re repopulates the, a stable of really good bacteria. So again, what is the takeaway? organic food becomes really important when you're thinking about eating pesticides that take out the bugs in your mouth that can allow bad bugs like Streptococcus mutans to proliferate, find their way into your blood, into your brain, into your heart. We don't want that. And that's how you protect it by actually doing the very best you can. It's not, not all 100% possible to protect yourself from the crazy toxic world we live in. So please check out the article uh, with all the science about this pretty fascinating stuff. Uh, at lifespa.com. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Gear. Hi, did you like this video? Do you like our content here at LifeSpa? You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash John Duyard right here and get this valuable content every week in your inbox. This recording is brought to you by LifeSpa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at LifeSpa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.